All right. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise God. That was some good singing. That was a good song, Brother Jonathan. Sister Kim, that was, that was a lovely song. I love those kind of songs, don't you? Oh, yes. Good word, too, brother. Praise God. That's a good word. Praise the Lord. I tell you what, if, um, if you have need for prayer, please call your request in. And we'll be praying with you, me and Brother Jonathan and those here. Praise the Lord forevermore. Thank God for our, for everything the Lord's doing. Yes. Amen. Yes. And thank God for our viewing and listening audience. God loves you. Yes, he does. And I'm glad, like Sister Kim, that song ministered to me and, and, and Brother Jonathan's song. The peace speaker, and we know him by name. Oh, praise God. And you know what? We certainly do. Praise God. I'm glad we do. That blesses me. We know his name, brother. <laughs> Amen. And my Redeemer lives. Praise God forevermore. Father, we thank you tonight. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for the, for the Holy Spirit tonight. Thank you for the Word of God. Lord, thank you for these people that are tuned in tonight. Thank you for blessing them. Praise God. Thank you for strengthening the body tonight. Thank you, Lord, that every need is, will be supplied in the mighty name of Jesus. We give you praise, glory. Those that don't know you, Father, I thank you. You're speaking to them in the name of Jesus. And they'll know you before this, this night's over. Amen. 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 I want to share one scripture with you. We go from there. I don't know. I'll tell you something tonight. God wants to bless you. And if you if you're not well, he wants you well. Yes, he does. If your needs are not being met, he wants them met. Amen. Yes. I don't know. I know there's a lot of trouble out in the world. And I know there's a lot of trouble in the church as well. And there's a lot of sickness and so forth going on. But I want you to know tonight that God wants you well. He wants you well. Yes, He does. And He wants to bless you in every way that you need to be blessed in. Praise God. Praise. Amen. If you need a job, He wants to give you a job. He has a job waiting for you. That's the kind of God that He is. You remember that? song that I, I believe his brother Smith used to sing and that's the kind of God that he is <laughs> amen Dudley Smith I believe uh, anyway that is just the kind of God he is so whatever that you have need of tonight God wants to meet that need again if you're not well he wants you well I don't care Let's, uh, I, I don't want to debate that stuff do you God wants you well. Yes, he does. I don't want to debate whether God is a good God or a bad God. He's a good God, and that settles it. The argument's over. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Amen. And God wants you blessed financially. The argument's over. Mm -hmm. Amen. Because it's too clear. Now, if it's not clear, then they, they might be something to talk about maybe. But now God wants you well, and he wants you blessed. I want to read you a scripture in uh, Third John, Third Epistle of John, chapter. Well, there's only one chapter, and the first couple of verses. And listen to this. It says, "The elder unto the well beloved Gaius, whom I love in the truth." Beloved, he says. Beloved, I wish above all things. Now I want you to catch what he's saying here. Beloved, I wish above all things. Now, that's wishing above a lot of things, isn't it? All. Hmm? All. So we read over top of this sometimes. But he said, I wish above all things. In other words, all that I could wish. I wish above all these things. That you would be, that thou mayest prosper and be in health. Yeah, yeah even as thy soul prospers. 
Now, so he's letting us know our soul is prospering. When you get in the Word of God, your soul is prospering. How many knows that the, the Bible talks about, e, e, talking about the Word even to the saving of your souls? Uh, people say, how, how many souls got saved last night? And somebody may say five. Well, not really. <laughs> Here we go. Not really. How, that's how many people got born again. But to save your soul is a process of getting in the Word and renewing your mind. Now, because how many know, see, you're, the soulish part of you is, is your mind, which is your, you know, your thoughts, your will, and your emotions. That is the soulish part of you. And that is being saved when you get into God's Word. And, you know, the Bible says, has got so much to say about it, but the transforming that your life takes on 